Uh, howdy y'all this is steve a thousand year homes welcome aboard so this week i've been working on my fence so uh and i've tuned up my tractor so that i can do so i've got a little project here for this evening as the sun's going down i want to get the horse trailer out of the way pulled around in the back and then i pulled all of the dove weed out of the garden so i'll go ahead and as i clear um oak and mesquite i'll stack it around to to raise the hugel culture around this this is a half of a sliver of a moon and that's a full moon over there on that side so i'll have some place to put it so as i cut the wood i won't have to be moving around i'll just bring it in put it into place but let me go ahead and set you on stop motion while i do that little project uh it's uh not a uh you know rocket science but it takes time <laughs> takes time to move stuff around. If only dove weed, woolly kutan, was worth money, I'd be a millionaire. That's just out of a little tiny one one hundredth of an acre plot. Maybe, maybe I should find out what this does. Nothing eats it. Everything's, it probably makes a great antiseptic. I bet you it makes a great antiseptic. I guess I should research that because I could be a millionaire.
So as I clear that fence row, you can see the wisdom of taking a scrap brush and, and logs and piling it up here. Now, does, uh, does that hugocultural uh, fence keep out the cattle? Sort of, but when they get hungry enough, they'll stomp it down and get in. So I still got to put the fence all the way around the property. Uh, where I live, <laughs> I just can't, I can't coexist with cattle. They're too big. <laughs> and uh, they ate your little milker, you know, uh, <laughs> a Pollyanna milker way up in the mountains. These are uh, big, dumb Texas cows, you know. But uh, anyway, so I've got another couple of brush piles from clearing earlier. I'm going to keep doing. I, I hired a man to come help me this week. Hopefully I'll get that whole fence done. It is slow going, solo building, I'll tell you. But uh, once I get this stuff down here, I don't have to move it again. You know what I mean? Down is down. And if it's big enough, I'll take it to the sawmill, put it on the sawmill. The idea is that this will... We'll keep uh, the idea is that this will help keep moisture in too as well. I could tell where the cattle have been because they pushed these stakes down to get in.
Well, thank you for joining me, everybody. So I'm doing fall prep on the, uh, the garden at the same time I'm clearing a fence line. And uh, any of the little sticks that end out sticking out too far, there'll be a few. I'll just get in there with a lopper and lop them, restack them right where they are. But you can see that, uh, you know, it's got a certain kind of folksy charm. I don't have to burn anything out here, which is dangerous in Texas. I don't like to burn. So I'll put cardboard down on the garden, suppress those uh, that grass, and uh, prep it for spring. In addition, I might throw some soil on it and throw some seed on top of that cardboard too. Uh, flax and I don't know, things stuff might eat during the winter. We'll find out. But if I don't have the cattle up here, they won't be tromping down the edges. Then as it decays, I can keep adding to it, build it up. So Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. i got a little more stuff to move. I'm going to move it while there's still a little twilight. But I can't film very well in twilight. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Thank you. Bye-bye.